this is a top ground. I would say this is like the trickiest cut to learn, maybe. Everything else seems pretty simple. But I don't know. People tend to have a hard time with this one. So you see like all this gross stuff on the bottom. You flip it over where you got this big fat cap. That's that's where we want to start. So first things first, you just want to clean it off. This meat's dark right here, so that's why I'm getting rid of it. Um, maybe yours isn't. So uh, Clean off some of this, a little bit of this fat here. Not much. So, any heavy, thick pieces. You know, it doesn't have to be completely lean, but that's just all fat. You know, and if the fat looks gross, get rid of that. Like, this is like, I don't know. It just looks dirty. Clean that off. Clean that off. Clean that off. Great. So, anything that's got a decent amount of meat on it can go into our trim, but the fat itself can just go into our fat pile. So, um, all right. So, oops. So let's see. So, how do I explain this here? Um, You got like kind of a flat face and then it kind of slopes down the back. Okay, so take off a line here to clean that up. But that's not where we're gonna cut. We're actually gonna slightly rotate and we're gonna cut on the corner. So take a chunk off to give us a face. Take that fat off and we can throw that into our lean pile. So Sorry, we're going to take off a little bit more of this fat here. You know what? Might as well just clean it all off. It just makes it easier to see. So, all right. This is okay. So, really super thin. Like, you're looking at like a third of your finger. You know, half at most. These are going to be minute steaks. You want them thin. They're called minute steaks for a reason. They literally cook in a minute. Some people will call them breakfast steaks. Some people will call them chip steaks. It's all the same thing. It's just a very, very, very thin cut of lean meat. So we're gonna do, there's usually like three to a pack. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And yeah, we can do eight. We're gonna cut, we're gonna cut another top round anyway, so. Then we're going to take a couple steaks. Again, finger size. One, two, let's do three. Then we're going to get something called brujol. Now you want to make sure your knife's sharp. So grab your, your sharpener or your steel. And just bring your bring that edge back on your knife. Brujol is the same thing as minute steaks. It's super thin, except it's a lot bigger because you usually roll stuff in it. Probably the hardest cut to learn. But with some time, you'll get it. And the sharp knife. You never want to try it with a dull knife. It's just not going to work well. So I'm only going to cut one because I'm doing, actually, yeah, because I'm doing another top round. Um, but that's it. You cut two, two slices. Those two slices is one package. So put that off to the side. Then we're going to do London broils. Again, just like two fingers, beefy, bulky. So we'll get two of those. And then we'll see that that cap is pretty pronounced now. So what we're going to do is just square off our sides. That could go in our trim. Clean up the bottom of this. You know, 
and get rid of all that. Gross. And that could be a top round roast. A little tiny roast. So then what you want to do is clean off all of your all the pieces at the bottom of your broils and your bajoles. And flip them over if you need to. If you wouldn't want to bite into it, nobody else would either. Same with your steaks. Joel's too. Flatten them out. That's good. Good. If your minute steaks need to be cleaned up, clean these up too. That's how you cut a top round. <laughs> 